Well hello and howdy and welcome back to another Minecraft video. We finally returned to the Wild West town for another block by block tutorial. If you want to see how we put this town together I'll leave a link for that video down below. Apologies for how long this one took, I know a couple of you guys have been waiting for this. But we're back and we're ready to get our Wild West cowboy hands dirty once again. As today we're going to be building the general store. That's right, I'm going to show you guys how to build our Wild West general store and we're going to be doing the interior as well. So a quick thank you to everyone who's been watching and subscribed, it means the absolute world. Continue with that support if you can and if you're new, a very big welcome to you and I hope you enjoy the video. Remember to let me know what you think down below, I love reading everyone's comments and without waffling on any more, let's get on building our Wild West general store. So, what are we going to need for this build? Not a lot really, we're just going to need some spruce logs, spruce planks and stairs, we'll need some dark oak planks and slabs, dark oak doors and fences, some glass panes, some brown banners and a few other little details along the way, pretty easy stuff to obtain in survival mode. You're going to need an 11 by 9 area for this so make sure you have the space ready. So first of all we're just going to fill in the base of our store with some spruce planks. If you've watched my previous tutorials in the Wild West style, you'll see that this is something we do in most of our builds is, is it's a common feature in this type of build. So get that filled in as a strong platform for the rest of our build on top. Now we're going to remove two planks from the sides like so, two blocks in from the front and then remove another two on the back two corners like so. Then in the back two gaps we're going to build up two five block columns with some spruce logs and then do the same at the front but this time we're going to build the columns seven blocks high. Then we're just going to pop a dark oak plank on top of each one like so, easy peasy. Next we're going to fill in the back wall with some spruce planks to the same height of our spruce log columns and then repeat the process on the two side walls as well. If you think the walls are looking a bit plain at the minute, don't worry I'm going to show you how we can texture those up and make them look a bit more interesting. Now do the same thing and fill in the front wall but build it slightly higher than the back and sides so that it meets up with the height of the front two spruce log columns. Then we can pop in a row of five planks on the top of the wall followed by a smaller row of three on top of that. We'll now grab our dark oak slabs and we're going to build a trim of slabs all the way around the top of the four walls like so to give us that western style look. Then you can grab some of the dark oak planks and just fill in the roof like so. If you want a bit more headroom inside you can use slabs for this as well, it doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you. Next, just add a row of spruce stairs along the front of our porch and then on the fourth block up on the front wall we're just going to replace the planks with a horizontal row of spruce logs just like this. Now on the bottom half of the row of logs we've just made we're going to add some spruce slabs to create a porch roof and then pop an extra one on each corner to add that western flair to it. Then just add some dark oak fence supports underneath and then on the left we're going to add a 3x2 window and then on the right we'll add a 2x2 and then in the middle add another 2x2 which will be for our door. <laughs> Now we're just going to remove the planks either side of the door and replace them with some more lovely spruce logs and then add our doors and finally our grey glass window panes as well. Lovely. Now we can add our all important store sign. If you want to know how I made these letters on the banners I'll leave you a link to a helpful video down below. Now we can add a bit more detail to the place by adding some chests and lanterns just to add a bit more life to the outside of the building. Now a little tip that I want to show you is to make a couple of holes in the decking and fill it in with water. Now grab some purple and some red coral and place it on top of the water. Next get some trapdoors, surround the coral and to the untrained eye we have ourselves some barrels of fruit. Now we're just going to texture up the ground a bit so it looks trodden on by our cowboys and our horses. We can do this by adding dirt and granite to the front of our store. 
Then we're going to give our walls some more texture by replacing some of the planks with some stripped spruce and then to add even more texture and detail like all of our previous builds we're going to add some spruce signs in rows along the walls to make it look like loose planks of wood. Now it's time for the interior. I wanted to create a quite small quaint shop inside so I built a wall to form a little side room as a bedroom for our shopkeeper. Then in the shop itself I added a counter and some shelves behind the counter to store all of the items that our shop has got for sale. Then for extra detail we're going to add a few bookshelves, barrels and lanterns just to add a bit more atmosphere and a bit more, a bit more life to the place. There we have it guys, we've got ourselves a Wild West general store and it's open for business. If you like this video then let me know down below and give it a thumbs up, it really helps me and the video out. So uh, I think that's it for today but you guys are all amazing, I can't believe the response that I've got been getting on these video series. But yeah I'll leave it there and I'll see you all in the next video, tatty bye. <laughs>